We've already made an envelope tracker before when we created the FM synth for the effects board, but it's so useful, I wanna revisit it and make it into an abstraction that we can reuse. So what I'm gonna do is start by creating an inlet because this will be an abstraction that we're just gonna save in the same directory. So inlet, we'll create two more. Remember that the inlets are assigned from left to right. So this will be the leftmost inlet, this will be the middle, this will be the right. This one is going to be our audio signal, and the other two will be milliseconds for attack and release. With this, what I'm gonna do is really simple. I'm going to take the absolute value of the audio signal. So I'm just gonna use the abs tilde object, and I'm going to connect that to slide, which, if you remember, filters a signal logarithmically for envelope following and low pass filtering, but its up and down values, its attack and release values, have to be given in samples. Obviously, I can connect that for the signal, but before I give it attack and release times, I need to first convert milliseconds to samples. I can do that with ms to samps tilde. Connect a data cord and then the outlet of ms to samps on the right is also data. Outlet on the left would be a signal, but I don't want that. Duplicate to get a second copy. Connect it to the release and connect it to slide. That's pretty much it, except I wanna give some default arguments to ms to samps. So what I'm gonna do is create patcher args, and I'm gonna give that a default attack time of 10 milliseconds and a default decay time of 100 milliseconds. Um, I'm gonna use floats for these as well. I will unpack with F and F because they're both floats. And the first outlet will go to the attack and the second will go to the release. Last and probably most importantly, I need a way to get the signal out of the abstraction. So I'm going to create an outlet, just like so. That's it. Now I'm gonna save that onto the desktop. I'm just gonna call it envelope follower. All one word, camel cased. And there it is. Now let's explore how to use that again because that pairs really nicely with things like fiddle and bonk. First, I'm gonna save this on the desktop. Now, I can create a new object called envelope follower, and because they're in the same directory, it'll just pop right up. At this point, it's important to remember that I can apply a couple of different uh, parameters for the attack and the release. I'm gonna use a live.dial, which I'm going to open in the inspector, set to time in milliseconds, and I'm gonna give this a range of zero to 1,000 milliseconds. Type is float, unit style is time. And just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna give it an initial value of 10, which is what I gave the patcher arguments. I'll duplicate that, 
And then I'm going to change the initial value here to 100. I'll name this release, and I'll name this one attack. I connect attack to the center and release to the right. Now, I just need some audio in order to play with this and see what we can do. Let's also create a scope here. I'm gonna make this nice and big so we can see what's going on. And let's get some audio. How about Anton? No, I'm kidding, we're not gonna use that. Let's use the cello instead. Kind of sick of Anton. Let's connect a gain object. And I'm going to connect that here to my envelope follower, not to my scope. Sorry about that. And I will take the output of envelope follower into scope so we can see how it works. And then last but not least, an easy DAC. So that we can hear it. I'm going to turn on the loop. And we can't really see anything here. In fact, what I would need to do is to adjust the settings of my scope so that we can really see this. So let's do that. I'm going to take a look at scope and down here in the values. I've got a range of negative one to one, but this is going to be mostly positive coming out of envelope follower. So let's change that to zero to one. And now let's see how that looks. You'll note that it's roughly following the contour of cello.aif really, really well. If I wanted to make this a little bit more sensitive, I could adjust the attack and the release times. But really, that's all I need to do. Super useful thing to have as an abstraction. I highly recommend you have that in your Max folder at all times.